What's up nerds? Today we're going to be looking at optical illusions in Adobe Illustrator. Uh, we're going to be going over the eye jitter optical illusion. That's a pretty simple uh, visual phenomena. Um, so yeah, it's pretty fun and simple to do. So name this eye jitter or whatever you want. Uh, for the width and height, I'm going to choose 1500 pixels. I'll click OK. Okay, um, so yeah, this is a pretty simple one to create. Uh, first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to take away this uh, white fill and I'm just going to swap that black stroke for a fill. And I want to go up here to the rectangle tool. You can just hit M on your keyboard. And uh, yeah, first thing I'm going to do is in this top corner, I'm just going to draw just kind of an arbitrary rectangle. Uh, just something about like that. Uh, we're just going to change it later so it doesn't have to be specific. Uh, but now I'd want to make a copy of this uh, rectangle. So holding Option, you'll see that duplicate icon. Click and drag and hold Shift and just pull it flush under your first rectangle. Ah, rectangle, there we go. And uh, I'm just going to color that white. And I'm going to do the same thing with both of them now. So highlight both of them. Click and drag a copy until it's flush and pull it like that. And now I'm just going to duplicate that all the way down the page. And the way I'm going to do that is just hit Command and D, as in dog. And yeah, just uh, do it until it kind of goes off the artboard. And we're just going to fix that by highlighting everything and just scaling it up. Oh, that looks good. And now I want to do the same thing, but across. So I'm just going to highlight it all. Holding Option, click and drag, hold Shift until it's pulled flush. That looks good, and I'm just going to pull it down so it's like a checkerboard pattern now. So yeah, it should look something like that. We don't need that straggler on the end. And it's fine that there's no shape there. Um, okay, and now, um, again, I just want to duplicate this all the way across the artboard, so I'm going to highlight both of them. Hold Option, click and drag. Hold shift to keep it in place. And then command D just to pull the rest of it off. And now I'm just going to highlight everything and scale that in. Oops. Scale that in horizontally like that. So yeah, this is uh, kind of what we want to see. Um, just a simple like kind of stretched out checkerboard pattern. And now I'm going to make this entire pattern into a swatch. Um, so I'm just going to hit command G to make this into a group. And then I'm just literally going to click and drag into the swatches panel like this. And you're going to see that swatch panel update. So, uh, I don't know. Get out of that. There we go. Um, so yeah, this is what we want to see. And uh, if you uh, pick just like a circle, I'm just going to click and drag a perfect circle holding shift. Uh, yeah, just like that, and then you can hit your swatch, and boom, you have uh, this entire pattern inside of your shape. And uh, to make this effect work, we need to rotate this shape. So using the selection tool, go outside of the transform corners until you see that rounded icon. Then click and drag, and just hold shift until it locks in place 90 degrees. Uh, that's, that's good. That's what we want to see. Um, I don't like this little sliver up here, so I'm just going to scale this up just a bit. So hit S until you, you can see this icon. You can just double click. And uh, I don't want to transform the object. I just want to transform the pattern. And yeah, that's fine. Yeah, we'll just go up to like 110 like that. Perfect. And uh, yeah, now we just want to put this circle over this square to make the optical illusion work. Um, so what I'm going to do is I'm just going to go to the align panel. Make sure you're aligned to artboard and align it horizontally and vertically. And yeah, that's uh, this is what we're wanting to see. This is the optical illusion. Um, if you see, if I like shake it around a little bit, it kind of looks like they move independently of each other. Um, if you just kind of walk back from your computer and just like look at it from different angles, it looks like the their perspective changes independently of each other. It kind of forces your eyes to see. Uh, two distinct shapes with two distinct perspectives and uh, yeah just another cool way your brain plays tricks on you when it doesn't have like natural information to uh, relate this to um, so yeah hope you like this uh, optical illusion video um, it's a pretty simple one um, 
kind of teach you to do some illustrator tricks in the process. So, uh, yeah, let me know if you like these. Uh, like the video, subscribe to it, uh, email me, mean things. I don't really care. Just uh, communicate with me and uh, make some cool stuff. Uh, thanks for watching. Bye.